everyone welcome to ln overseas hope you are doing well so today we are going to learn an important topic that is errors from units and measurements so the very first question that would be coming in your mind ma'am what is proper definition of this errors and here is the answer for the same let's see the difference between the true value and the measured value of a quantity is known as the error in measurement so the next question that would be coming in your mind ma'am what is true value what is measured value so in order to understand the same let us suppose if i am going to give you a wire suppose length is 2 meter now how you will come to know like the length of this wire is 2 meter so what you will do you will start measuring the length of this wire with meter scale and it would be possible like in your first observation you will find measured value is equals to 1.9 and second observation you will find measure observation is equals to 2 in third observation it would be possible like you will find 1.98 so these mv1 mv2 and mv3 are nothing but what measured values hope it is clear to you now when you will take mean of these measured values what you are going to find you are going to find true value hope it is clear to you so let's move ahead to the next point like here in this point we are going to see the mathematical representation of these errors so if x is equals to a plus b or x is equals to a minus b where a has some error as well as b also has some errors at the same time what is the value of error in a so it is represented here by delta a now at the same time error in b is represented by delta b hope it is clear to you so let's move ahead to the next point like here in this slide we are going to study about errors in mathematical operations so the very first thing that i want to ask you what are mathematical operations so the answer is addition subtraction multiplication division and exponents right so the same thing we are going to understand here but for errors and here is the rule number 1 let's see what we are going to do here when two quantities are added or subtracted the absolute error in the result the absolute error in the result is the sum of the absolute errors in the individual quantities right like if you want to add a and b or if you want to subtract b from a and you are saying x is the result here so if you want to calculate error in x what you will do you will separately add error of a as well as error of b and this sum is going to give you error in x and the same thing is written here let's see here a and b are a plus minus delta a where delta a is the error in a at the same time delta b is the error in b hope it is clear to you like here in this slide we are going to study about maximum absolute error in x that we are representing here by the symbol delta x where delta x is going to be equal to delta a plus delta b that is sum of the errors present in individual quantity hope it is clear to you now if i talk about maximum percentage error of x then in this situation what you will say delta x upon x into 100 will be the value of maximum percentage error in x hope it is also clear to you so let's move ahead to the next slide like here in this slide we are going to study about rule number 2 but before going to this rule i want to tell you one thing like we have already created a playlist of more informative videos like this and link is also given in the description so if you want to cover those topics also kindly go through the description and click on the link let's come back to this point and see rule number 2 when two quantities are multiplied or divided the relative error in the result is the sum of the relative errors in the multipliers so here in this situation as you can see a 
एंड बी आर मल्टीप्लायर्स एंड जेड इज नथिंग बट वॉट फाइनल प्रोडक्ट एंड वॉट इज आर एम आर एम इज टू फाइंड रिलेटिव एरर इन द रिजल्ट राइट सो इन दैट सिचुएशन वॉट यू शुड नो फर्स्ट हियर डेल्टा ए इज एरर इन ए एट द सेम टाइम डेल्टा बी इज एरर इन बी नाउ इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वॉट वी वॉन्ट द मैक्सिमम रिलेटिव एरर इन जेड एंड हियर इज द आंसर फॉर द सेम That is delta z upon z is equals to delta a upon a plus delta b upon b. That means relative error in z is equal to relative error in a plus relative error in b. Hope it is clear to you. So let's move to the next slide. Like here in this slide, we are going to study about rule number three. Let's see what is written here. The relative error in a physical quantity raised to the power k. is the k times the relative error in the individual quantity raised to the power k and is k times the relative error in the individual quantity in general let us suppose if z is equals to a to the power p b to the power q divided by c to the power r then if you want to write relative error in z what you will do you will just write this thing that is written here that is relative error in z will be is equals to p into relative error in a plus q into relative error in b plus r into relative error in c why because here delta a is error in a at the same time delta b is error in b at the same time delta c is error in c so and what we said we clearly discussed here like the relative error in any physical quantity raised to power k is the k times relative error in the individual quantity hope it is clear to you and the same thing you can see here so let's move ahead to the next slide like here in this slide we are going to discuss a direct question from neat 2019 let's see what is written here in an experiment the percentage of error occurred in the measurement of physical quantity a b c and d are 1%, 2%, 3% and 4% respectively. Then the maximum percentage error in the measurement of x where x is a to the power 2, b to the power 1 by 2, c to the power divided by c to the power 1 by 3 into d to the power 3. So what is given here in this question? In this question we know percentage error in a, b, c and d. So basically it is written here delta a upon a into 100 is equal to 1 or you may also write here delta a upon a is equal to 1 upon 100 similarly what we can write delta b upon b is equal to 2 upon 100 and delta c upon c that means relative error in c is equal to 3 upon 100 and last but not the least that is relative error in d is equal to 4 upon 100 hope it is clear to you but what is our aim our aim is to find maximum percentage error in the measurement so what our aim is to find the value of delta x upon x so here in this situation what delta x upon x into 100 right so what we will write here we will easily write here as it is written 2 is the power of a so 2 into delta a upon a plus as here power of b is 1 by 2 so write here 1 by 2 into delta b upon b then as here power of c is 1 by 3 so write here 1 by 3 delta c upon c now as here power of d is 3 so just write here 3 delta d upon d right and then what you need to do you just multiply here by 100 right what you are going to find in next step you are going to find here 2 will remain as it is at the place of delta a upon a you will write 1 by 
plus 1 by 2 will remain as it is and at the place of delta b upon b what you will write 2 by 100 plus 1 by 3 will remain as it is and delta c upon c will be written as 3 by 100 plus here 3 will remain as it is and what you will write 4 by 100 and then multiply the whole thing with 100. So finally what you are going to find just cancel few things first. 100, 100, 100, 100 and 100. Then what you will do? 2, 2 will cancel. 3, 3 will cancel. 4, 3 is a 12. 12 plus 1, 13. 13 plus 1, 14. 14 plus 2, 16. So our answer will be what? 16 will be the correct answer. That is option number 2 will be the correct answer. So I should also write here 16 percent is the correct answer. Hope it is clear to you. So let's move ahead to the next slide. So again here in this slide I have written a direct question from NEET 2013. Let's see what is written here. In an experiment four quantities A, B, C and D are measured with percentage error 1%, 2%, 3% and 4% respectively. Quantity P is calculated as follows and here is the formula for P that is A to the power 3, B to the power 2 divided by C, D. Percentage error in P is, what is our aim? Our aim is to find delta P upon P into 100, right? But this time I am not going to solve this question for you. So I am going to give you this question in your homework. So try this question by yourself and send me the answer in the comment box. I am waiting for your answer and here is a big thank you from my end. If you have any doubt, query, suggestion feel free to text us in the comment box. We'll definitely try to reach you within 24 hours. Till the time, bye-bye and take care everyone.